Hey folks, on today's video, we're going to be discussing a new antenna that I picked up a few months ago. I'm just now getting around to reviewing it and building it and stuff. So let's jump right in. That's right here, right now on Ham Radio for non-techies. Hey guys, welcome back to Ham Radio for non techies where we try to get you to study for and pass your exams so you can become a ham radio operator and start enjoying this hobby as much as we do. I first want to pay a little recognition to my Patreon patrons. Without you guys, this show would not be uh, possible. This channel would not be going as far as it has gone so far. And we're about to hit 20,000 subscribers right now, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Being I started this thing three years ago, and, uh, you know, it was just, it was crazy just getting up to 1,000. Now I'm at almost 20,000. It's, it's insane. Never thought I'd go to these heights, but I'm super happy about it. I'm super happy that I'm able to bring uh, information to you guys, good content. I've helped out a lot of people around the world, and I just want to say, hey, I appreciate you guys. If you'd like to also become a Patreon patron, you can join for as little as $3 a month. You can go to patreon.com forward slash HR4NT. Okay, so as I was saying, I just got an antenna. I did just get an antenna. I bought this antenna a couple months ago, and between just not having a vehicle and all the crap I went through last year with the accident and then just life taking over and going in different directions. Uh, I was not able to get this thing done. Uh, so we're going to do this today, come hell or high water. And uh, this is what we're going to do. So what I picked up is the X antenna antenna. It's an N fed half wave and it's a uh, multi, or what do they say? A multi or variable. I forgot what he says on here. It's a variable ratio N fed half wave antenna. And that means that there's a little switch. We're going to open the package up here. There's a little switch right here. And that allows you to change the ratio of the toroid from 49 to 1 to 56 to 1 to 64 to 1, depending on how you want to operate that day. And, you know, the switch, having the switch on there, you might want to switch over and might get better reception or better uh, operating results by having it on a different ratio. We're going to give that a test and try it out as much as we can. Uh, very minimal uh, build requirement here. You do get a package of wire, and I think all the banana clips are in here as well. And there's also instructions on how to build it. So I guess we just got to basically solder on the uh, antenna wire here, take it out, tune it up, fire it up, and be ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this thing downstairs. Let's get the package opened and take a little closer look. And let's get this thing built, and let's get it up outside and get it tuned up. I'll see you downstairs. All right, guys, so here is the antenna unboxed here. We have the main antenna itself, got some banana clips. We have an S-beaner, which I'll be drilling a hole in so I can put this into the uh, top of my DX Commander Expedition pole, because that's how I like to mount mine. You can mount yours however you want. And I got the stealth wire, which is very pliable. Looks like there's no, no, no memory in this, so it's really, really nice, soft silicone. So as far as the antenna itself goes, if you look here, you have two spots to put in some counterpoise wires if you so choose. Now, I have never in my life ever, 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 ever uh, needed to have counterpoise on an N-fed half wave. It's your choice whether you're going to do that or not. You can use it with and make it better results. You might not. Give it a shot if you want to try that out. On the opposite side of the antenna here, we have the antenna mounting uh, place where one of these banana clips would go in, or he gives you an option. He has a little solder plate over here where you can just run the wire through and solder it right onto that plate, and you're done. I guess this is for if you want to try multiple wires or different things with different parts, you know, to tune the antenna different ways. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and solder a piece on here, get it tuned up, and get that rocking and rolling. Over here, you have your switch, so you can switch from... 49 to 1 to 56 to 1 to 64 to 1. And he says this is basically uh, due to various types of insula insulation, height, and atmospheric conditions. You have a variable on on ratio from these different ratios as a tuning aid. So there's no set rules on how you use this. Use it however, however best it works for you. But I like the idea of having an antenna that gives me a couple options, almost like having three different antennas in one. So we're going to go ahead and get this, uh, I'm going to get this soldered up. I'm going to go ahead and solder right to this plate. I'm not going to use the banana clips. And uh, we're just going to go from there and get this thing rolling. So I'll see you guys outside. We'll start tuning it up. All right, guys. So I'm out at my uh, local favorite park here. And I thought I'd try to get it tuned up here because the trees at my place are way, way too overgrown right now. And the pole is getting stuck and the, the wire is getting stuck. It's just very frustrating. So came out here. I got a little bit better uh, range and, and more room to work in. But uh, I've got the uh, 
antenna set up. You see over there I've got the pole up. I got the wire running all the way down here over to my little electric fence pole that I like to use all the time for setting up N-fed half waves. So I've got this all set up here, running up that way, took an initial reading. And the initial reading on 40 meters, center of the 40 meter band, is showing me to be at 3.3, 3.4. So I'm going to continue shorten this thing. I'll come back when I, uh, when I got something to report to you. Alright uh, guys, hopefully the wind isn't too bad for you here. What I did is I tuned the antenna at the 49 to 1 setting, got it tuned for 40, which got me 15, 20, and 10. Uh, my results, and I'll post them up, I'll post a picture here, between 1.19 on 20 up to like 1.43, so I'm still under 1.5 to 1 on all the bands. Uh, I then switched it over to the 56 to 1 configuration, and I'll put the results of those up here. And then again, I got a couple of improvements on some. Not, not It wasn't a wild improvement, but I'm still like 1.19 up to like 1.5. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with those results. Could it be better? Maybe so, but I'd then be micromanaging the length of this thing. And it always makes me nervous when I'm cutting antenna wire, when I'm tuning it, and I got wire that's provided with the antenna. I don't want to run out of what they gave me and then have to go home and grab my antenna wire and to come back and do it all over again. So I think I'm going to stick at it with, with what it is right now. I think this will work out just fine. Uh, next thing is to get it up on the air and try it out. So we'll give that a shot next. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're out at my favorite park today again. It's the next day since I uh, tuned it yesterday. I didn't have time to actually do a test on it, which we're going to do today. But I wanted to touch on a couple little things real quick. Uh, in reading the instruct, it just dawned on me that he gives these specific lengths of the wire to set up this antenna. And he says we want to avoid half wavelengths. Well, it's an N-fed half wave, so that's not exactly accurate and probably should be taken out. So if you do buy this antenna, disregard that section about putting out the different, the different wire lengths there. This is an N-fed half wave. It's, it's designed to perform as an N-fed half wave. And like I said, I, I cut off quite a bit of length off mine to get it down to where I got it to get those, uh, those numbers. And by the way, I did not post up the pictures of the tuning at the 64 to 1 option on the antenna because they were very similar to the 56 to 1 and the 49 to 1. So those other pictures you saw earlier uh, are still accurate. I've been wanting to test this thing because I've heard that 56 to 1 is supposed to be somewhat more efficient than 49 to 1. I've been trying to find the documentation on it for a while, but I, I seem to remember somewhere I read something about how 56 to 1 is a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to test it out today on the 56 to 1 because I've done 49 to ones my whole entire infit half wave antenna life. Uh, so I really want to try the 56 to one option on this. But I've got the antenna set up. I got my 7300 back behind me here. I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up to the battery, get all the stuff plugged in. And I'm going to go hunt some, uh, some POTA spots and see if I can reach some people and see how far out we can get. So we'll uh, check back in a second. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima. I thought I had Northern Italy on here. I, mean, I, I, I hear him, but he can't hear me. And now the band has gone flat on me, so I'm going to keep trying. Guess we're going to do some parks on the air. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima. I copy the 59 to 59. You're coming in about a 53 in Texas. 73. Okay, Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima, thank you. You're fine by far. 
Thank you very much for the, the, the uh, radio check there. Uh, you're coming in about a 5555 five, five in Texas. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima, Scott. Afternoon, you're 5 and 9. Copy the 5 9, you're coming in about a 5 9 here in Texas. Very good, Mr. Thanks very much for hunting today at 73. Thanks for activating, 73. You are dead. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima. Kilo India 5, November Papa Lima, Yeah, copy the 5-7, you're coming in about a 5-1, a 5-1 in Texas. That was cool. So I'm just jumping around the bands here a little bit, but uh, yeah, and this thing works. I, I think I got a little more extra noise out here. I don't know what's going on in the area. Uh, normally I come out to this park, the uh, waterfall is pretty quiet, but it seems like a lot of extra noise today for some reason. It could be something going on with the solar weather, whatever. But uh, hey guys, you know, this antenna works. And it's now added to my NFED half-wave collection. And I'm happy with it. <clears throat> Again, you know, if you guys want to uh, get a, get one of these, the links are down below. They're 66 bucks as of the time of this uh, video. And it gets to you pretty quick. The only thing you have to do to it is solder that antenna wire on, bring it out, hook up to your analyzer, and uh, tune it up. And I was getting people on uh, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Uh, when we first fired it up, I think I was on, I was either on 15 or I was on 10 meters, and I was picking up a guy in Italy. So and he couldn't hear me, obviously, and I lost him right when I was trying to get into it. But uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I, I've never uh, actually had a, vo a, a, a phone or voice call to anybody over in Italy before. That would have been nice to get in my, under my belt there. But uh, I'm happy with this, guys. So again, if you enjoyed uh, the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are always free, and it does help out the channel. It helps out uh, YouTube and the algorithm to uh, let people know you like these videos, these kind of videos, and it keeps showing them up to you. And it'll, it'll, uh, it'll also notify you when I do a new video. If you're not a Patreon member, consider joining. For as little as $3 a month, you can become a Patreon patron and help support the channel further to get more videos like this. I got some more antenna builds and uh, videos coming out. And uh, we're going to get this rocking and rolling, guys. But I appreciate it. My name is Scott. My call sign is KI5MPL. This is Ham Raider for non-techies. And we are clear.